In this lesson, we are going to be implementing the delete functionality for categories. We are also going to be writing some little JavaScript so that the functionality is a little bit, you know, user friendly and more real world. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a delete button. When the user clicks on delete, it's going to pop up a modal that says, are you sure you want to delete this category? And then if the user clicks on yes, then the category is deleted. If the user clicks on no, then category is simply cancelled okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to include the javascript for bootstrap so that we can use jquery and the bootstrap modal and stuff like that then i'm going to go to the app the blade.php and right after my end div and right before my body i'm just going to paste that right there and all of the integrity things i'm just going to get rid of them because they just make the form really long and they're completely useless Okay, so now that we have the scripts, the next thing we're going to do is copy a sample model. So I'm just going to go to get started and I'm just going to have a model. I'm just going to search for model right there. And then I'm going to copy this example model. So I'll copy this content. Okay, then I'm going to come to my index.blade.php for categories, which is a page where we have a list of categories. And right after the table, I'm going to paste that right there. Okay, now. I'm just going to give this an idea of delete model area label is going to be delete model label give these the same id and i think that's it that's what we need for model the next step is to add a button that's going to be for the delete so button dot button dot button danger and this is going to say delete when this user clicks this button we want to call a method or a function in javascript that is going to open this model so how do we register a click handler on a button? We are going to use the HTML on click attribute, and this is going to call handle delete, which is a JavaScript function like this. But let's try this out. If I inspect my developer tools, open up the console, refresh, we have the delete button. If I click on delete, you can see it says reference error delete is not defined. Okay, which means we have to actually define this function. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I give this a button small so that it's not too large. Okay. So now we see reference error delete is not defined. So the JavaScript is going to be placed right here. Okay. So we can go ahead and add the script right here and write the JavaScript we want. But this JavaScript is only going to be used on the category page. So what we could instead do is yield a section called scripts. And then in the index.blade.php, create a new section here called scripts because we know that this section is going to be injected right here at the end of the body, which is where we want our script. Okay. And you also want to make sure it's after the jQuery, the popper and the bootstrap so that you can use these libraries. Okay. So here I'm just going to end section, open up some new script tags. And I'll define my function called handle delete. So here I'm going to have function handle delete. And in here, I'm just going to console.log deleting. Okay. So if I refresh this page and I click here, you can see we have a message that says deleting, which means it works fine. But a very important thing we have to keep in mind is that we need to know specifically which of the categories the user deleted or the categories the user clicked on. So we are going to come here and we're going to pass an argument into this handle delete, which is going to be the category ID, because remember, this is in a loop, right? So category ID, and we're going to come here, receive this argument ID, and I'm just going to log that ID too. So if I refresh, click on delete, you can see we have the ID that we are deleting right there. Awesome. Now, what do we want to do? We want to open up the modal. Okay. So the first thing we need to do for opening up the modal is to get the ID of the modal. So to open a bootstrap modal, we simply need to use jQuery to select the modal and call the modal function and pass in show. And it's going to show that modal. So let's try this. If I refresh, click on delete, you can see we have our modal right there. Great. But we want to customize this model so that it's used for deleting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the title to delete category. Okay. 
Then the next thing, this is going to say yes, delete, and this is going to say no, go back. Let's try this. Refresh, you can see yes, delete, no, go back. But we want this to be button danger, so it looks risky to delete. If we refresh, click on delete, great, now we are heading somewhere. You can see yes, delete right there. Now, how are we going to do this? We are going to have a form that submits a delete request to the server to delete a category. First, we need to wrap the modal content in a form. So I'm just going to cut this out, create a form and paste this so that the yes delete button is going to be of type submit. Okay. So when the yes delete button is clicked, it's going to submit this form. And when the no cancel button is clicked, it's going to dismiss the model. And this has to be of type button so that it doesn't submit the form. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure the method is post. And to make sure it's submitted as a delete, we have to do add method delete. Okay. And never forget the CSRF token for security. Okay. Now that we have a form set up, our action has to be empty because we need to generate this action dynamically depending on the category that we are trying to delete. Okay. Because remember, if we are trying to delete category one, it's going to be categories slash one. And if it's two, it has to be two. And if it's three, it has to be three, which means we have to generate this with JavaScript when the user clicks the button. How do we do this? The first thing we're going to do is give this form an ID. So ID is going to be equal to delete category form. Okay. And what we could do is in JavaScript, we can fetch this form. So var form is going to be equal to document dot get element by ID and we'll pass in that ID and then we'll set the form dot action to be equal to slash categories then slash plus the ID that was selected. So if we check out at send route list, you see for the delete. We have categories slash the category that we are trying to delete and the name of the route is categories.destroy but we can't use the route name in this case since we want to enable this functionality using javascript right so right now i'm just going to move my console.log and i'm just going to console.log the form so that you can see what value the form has so if i refresh if i click on delete if you check out the form it says action is slash categories slash three i'll cancel click on this one and you can see six if i click on this one you can see five and if i click on this one you can see one which means it works perfectly the final step is to actually delete it by submitting the form and you can also see the form has the hidden token and the hidden method okay awesome so now I'm just going to delete this console.log. We are done with JavaScript. If the user clicks on this and clicks on yes, delete, it submits to the delete endpoint. But if we go to the categories controller, you can see that our delete method is empty. That's why it doesn't show anything. So what we want to do is make sure we use route model binding right here to get the category. And we're going to call category delete then would we'll flash to this session session flash a success message that says category deleted successfully and then return route or return redirect to a route called categories dot index so we can see a list of categories okay so let's go back refresh click on delete it's gonna ask of if we are sure oh we need to fix this message right so let's go back to our index dot blade and make sure we change the content of this to be an edge or a p dot text center and we can make this text bold. And this is going to say, are you sure you want to delete this category? 
refresh and great are you sure you want to delete this category if we click on yes it's going to delete i'm just going to say no and i'm going to delete wordpress great category deleted successfully and you can see the category is no longer on the list so let's delete this ones that we don't need right here i'm just going to delete angular great awesome so you can see that the delete category works perfectly. So let's talk about how we achieved this. The first thing we did was to add a button. This button takes an onClick handler, which is a JavaScript function. And this JavaScript function is being called every time this button is clicked. And it receives an argument, which is the idea of the category that we are trying to delete. We defined this function right here in a scripts section because our layout has a script section right there. So every JavaScript that we write is gonna be injected right here into the script section, okay? So we define a function called handle delete that takes the ID. The first thing we do is find the form with the ID and update its action, just like we did right here. So this is the form that is going to work for the delete request. So we update its action. Then we find the model and we show the model. Okay, because the user wants to delete that category, we show an alert model right here. So we just find the model with that ID right here and we show it. Okay, now in this model, we have a form and we make sure we specify the method is post and we have a method directive right here to make sure it's actually a delete request. Okay, so method post here, but at method says it's delete. So it's going to have the hidden underscore method field. Then we have a CSRF protection. And what happens is when the button is clicked, it makes a post request to the server, actually a delete request, but the form notes is making a post request, but for Lavo, it's a delete. And then the categories controller picks it up, deletes, flashes, and returns redirect back to the list of categories. Okay, so that was some fun JavaScript stuff. If it was too complicated, make sure you watch the video again, understand the details, and I'm going to catch you up in the very next lesson.